Hello, everyone. I'm Sean. This is Hoon. And we are the Courager Frights. Yes. So back for the first time ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> bring you movie and video game news for across the internet. We're in no way related to those stupid Courager Knights guys. Yes. <laughs> no, actually, uh, we, we changed the name because there was a channel that had a very similar name, and I guess it was causing some confusion. And yeah. uh, turns out we actually do a lot of like horror related content as well as video game stuff, especially retro gaming. So it just kind of made sense with Courager being like a retro gaming thing and Frights being kind of a horror thing. Yeah, horror, yeah. So yeah, it so makes... it just kind of fit. So that's what we're doing right now. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, so unless someone else that has a similar name to Courager Frights comes <laughs> like I checked like every possible combination and nobody has that as to my knowledge, but give it about two weeks and somebody will come out. And... Yeah, someone from the grave will show up and be like, <laughs> that's my name. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So I guess we'll start with the movie news. Like uh, we, well, I can't say like we always did because we've never done this before. It's our first time ever. Yes, this is our first. Completely, yeah, first completely movie new. News. Completely new thing. We've never done this before. So we're going to start with like, what movie is news. this? We don't know what movies are. We don't know what anything is. Yes. Uh, so we we'll start nothing. with uh, we'll start with your uh, movie news. I guess I'm assuming that's how you do this. Yeah, I guess we'll start with that. <laughs> okay, the first thing I have here is like it's kind of old news, but I just thought the title was funny, <laughs> or like at least the <laughs> subtitle was funny. As well. wow, always want to bring this up. Apparently, Warner Brothers and Discovery they merged, so they became Warner Brothers Discovery. But their title is the stuff that dreams are made of. <laughs> With when I think of Warner Brothers, I don't think of dreams. <laughs> I think of nightmares. And, <laughs> yes. And horror. <laughs> yeah, and broken dreams, maybe. <laughs> Stuff where broken dreams are made of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anything you have there will just fail instantly. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming. And speaking of broken dreams, we're going to our next... <laughs> the next topic here the theme of tonight's video <laughs> yes so if you wanted to watch uh remember that highly acclaimed movie super mario brothers oh yeah where it's so perfectly in line with the actual games from the 1980s exactly i heard the directors in particular were master craftsmen yeah master craftsmen apparently they have made a new cut they they actually restored the movie they oh, apparently God. took years to do this to restore this specific movie they call it the Morton Jenkel cut of the Super Smash Brothers, the movie. <laughs> Morton Jenkel cut. It sounds like, like, Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde cut for this movie. <laughs> Apparently there is an Iggy and Spike rap about overthrowing President Koopa in there somewhere. Oh, good. In the early 1990s rap, that's got to be good. Yes. <laughs> they need to have uh, Vanilla Ice somewhere. <laughs> that's Will what they Smith. need to do. Yeah, <laughs> like I can't imagine it. Kind of, they've added. They had to add that much to the movie to make an actual cut. It's, apparently, it's extended release, so I don't really know what's in there. Oh, here we go. Here's a part of the part of the rap. Oh, good. King Koopa, you poopa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I could. I could say that. It's, it's like... just that. Just leave it with that. That's that's amazing. Yes, <laughs> King Koopa, you poopa. We need to we need to track this down and review it now. Radical development is taking place. Iggy and Spike will, will set, set the pace. Koopa, the, the party poopa, the poopa scoopa. Yes, apparently it's a free. You can actually watch it for free on the Internet Archive. It's probably some Russian website that. <laughs> what the hell's the Internet Archive? <laughs> gives you <laughs> gives you malware every time you click on it. Isn't that that site that like? takes you to websites that aren't like active anymore probably they it's probably like they put... just did this why would it be on that it's, it's probably because it's not active they had to put it on an inactive website <laughs> that's the only way anyone would want to watch it's on it. uh one of their old geo sites or something <laughs> yeah. you have to go to aol messenger and message them using one of them aol cds they uploaded it on new grounds <laughs> they have a lot of new grounds. Even though that's an active site still. 
Yes. It's on E Bomb's World or something. Yeah, E Bomb's World and New Egg. They probably have a specific word. It's on the dark web. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. It's on like 2chan or something. Yeah, you have to give them like Bitcoin to do anything. Trade only in NFTs. They trade that Koopa rap on NFTs. Be proud reptilians, we number in the millions. Look at these Goombas. Shutting us down. The rule of four. It's the rule of this clown. Koopa. Koopa. The, the body Koopa. Koopa. That specific line. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have here is uh, Paramount Plus apparently sets its summer 2021 lineup. They have, uh, they don't have too much movies coming out, I guess. Like new movies, that is. So they have Quiet Place 2 is coming out, which we knew about. And Paw yeah. Patrol, the movie, was coming out as well. So that's well, I'm definitely movies. getting it now. Yes. <laughs> Apparently that's coming out on August 20th. And they're adding up 2,500 title expansions to Paramount Plus with 1,000 premium movies this, this week alone. And they also changed their – they have, like, a new, like, tier, pricing tier. So they have a – kind of like – I'm guessing they're trying to do, like, what Hulu does. So they have a, uh, like, a ad-based one. So that's four ninety nine a month. So the the pleb one is four ninety nine a month. You can watch all your commercials on there about Paramount Plus shows, or I don't know, maybe it just shows. Uh, who's the guy who did uh, Star Trek? I don't know. If that's that guy, everyone hates oh, because he screwed oh, up with. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know you're talking about Kurtzman or something. Yeah, Alex Kurtzman, basic Alex Kurtzman cinematic commercial universe in there. fucking hubris that's all they have in like, the ads that's all that's all the ads are right but here's like some of the films coming out for paramount plus this summer so like part of the 2500 title expansion or maybe it's the premium movies i don't even know okay they have terminator dark fates was that considered a title expansion or a premium movie i don't know it better not be a premium movie <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is like the quality that's coming up mission impossible Ghost Protocol. That's not that's a that's a decent movie, so that's pretty decent. So yeah, Red but Dawn. It's also like ten years old. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, another ten year old movie. <laughs> Skyfall. The Avengers, Gemini Man, and the Rhythm Section. Great. What? <laughs> Rocket Man is one. Rocket Man's not too bad. Judy, Florence Florence Foster Jenkins, The Wolf of Wall Street, Revolutionary Road, seventy one, The Soloist. The Birch Cage, The Full Monty, and Little Woman, which I don't think I've heard like half these movies. I've actually. heard of a lot of them, but a lot of them are old. Yeah, these are all old. Like Wolf of Wall Street, I remember when that came out, and that was like a couple years ago. I mean, Wolf of Wall Street, but like Full Monty, like that came out yeah, like 30 real. years ago. Woman. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have is uh, The Door of the Lost City of Gold, Sonic the Hedgehog, The Addams Family. Wonder Park, The Adventures of Tintin, and Charlotte's Web. So there's like the kids section. Horror, we have Body Cam, The Hustle, Valley Girl, or I was about to say Valley Girls, a horror movie. <laughs> it could be. It could be, yeah. Saint, Saint Maud, okay, Body Cam, Saint Maud, uh, Critically Acclaimed The Crawl. Yes. Child's Play, or yeah, Florida Man, the movie, The Crawl. Florida Man, the movie, The Crawl, or crawl or whatever it is as our stamp of approval yes exactly <laughs> that's one of the creature fright stamp of approval yeah crawl. it's stamp of approval crawl about the the extremely accurate film about a basement in florida yeah, about being in a trapped in a florida floridian, floridian basement basement. During a hurricane. this is why this is exactly why houses don't have basements in florida yeah, exactly. <laughs> the one that does built like a full scale labyrinth underneath their house. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Child's Play, which that's a decent movie. Uh, Gretel and Hansel, Pet Cemetery, The Prodigy, The Haunting, Paranormal Activity 3, and Paranormal Activity 4, and Arachnophobia. Where's Paranormal, Paranormal Activity 1 and 2? <laughs> yeah. Unless they already had on there, them yeah. and they just added those. Yeah, they, they must be. Where they, where's the Japanese one, the other one that's supposed oh, to be? Oh, yeah, or, like, the, the marked ones or whatever, the one with yeah. the, like, Hispanic one. The Paranormal Activity Tokyo Drift. <laughs> where's that one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the comedies, we have Like a Boss, The Hustle, Valley Girl, What Met One, Fighting With My Family, The Little Hours, The Dictator, I Love You, Man, Jackass Presents, 
grand, grand, bad grandpa, Tropic Thunder, no string attached. Hello, my name is Doris and School of Rock. Great. So they have Indiana Jones already added on. Mission Impossible, apparently they must have the other movies. Star Trek, SpongeBob SquarePants, and Jackass. So Indiana that's something Jones that kind of weird. Yeah. Because doesn't Disney own that now? Yeah, doesn't Disney own Lucas, that? I mean, I guess Paramount made the original one, but like Lucasfilm is owned by Disney, so I don't know what's going on with that. So they must have added those on. They must have like some of the movies. I wonder if they have like a couple of them. That is really strange, though, because, <laughs> yeah, Disney's making the new one. So my next thing I have here is uh, Amazon apparently buys MGM Studios for $8.45 billion. It's maybe not a good deal. Yeah, it's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> so that's like Tiger has become like a – or that lion has become like a golden lion now. So we have, like, apparently that comes with, like, Epic, maybe. So it has Fargo, Vikings, and Shark Tank. So if you want to watch those, you can watch Am- on Amazon now. So James Bond, what other – movies are <laughs> I think James Bond's like the only existing franchise that's an MGM thing. Yeah, because MGM really have they really made any like movies? It's I don't remember like seeing stuff. Yeah. Maybe they'll make Shark Tank the movie. Sharknado. Yeah, Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, James Bond, like and also the James Bond rights are tied up so MGM only owns like half of the yeah. titles. <laughs> So Amazon, unless Amazon bought them out too, which they probably could, <laughs> they probably could have bought everything out. But yeah, they threw more than double what Star Wars was bought for. Yeah, for MGM. That is surprising. It's like MGM has a bunch of old movies, and that's like it. Yeah. Unless they're just gonna, unless they're actually gonna be making movies under that title, like under Maybe. that. Uh, because that's the only thing I think of. Maybe Amazon has other plans and just making like MGM going to be making movies again. Yeah, maybe because MGM was like one of those original studios that was still like extant. <laughs> it was like the last of the original studios that wasn't like a major merger deal or something. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure what they actually own. Yeah, because I. Because James Bond's really the only, yeah, James Bond really is the only. Is there anything? Is there any new franchises under MGM? I'm about to look that up. No, I don't think there really new. is. James Bond's, I think, it's the only one that's like still in existence. Adam's Family is one. Yeah, but Adam's Family aren't they making the new one on Netflix? Yeah, and Valley Girls going going to Paramount Plus, and that was one of them. Child's Play is another one. So how how is this working? The new Child's Play is under for is produced by MGM. Apparently, how's that work? Oh, there's different rights with Child's Play. There's like a big uh, legal thing with that. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, because MGM owns the rights to like one of the Child's Play things. Might have been the original. I don't remember. Yeah, this is going to be really weird. So Paramount Plus is almost like MGM as well, because Gretel and Hansel is part of is an MGM movie. Yeah, that's strange. So, but they're going to be on Paramount Plus unless Paramount Plus and like MGM are just like working together, and like that means Amazon's going to be working. They must have bought a specific. That is really yeah. strange. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't all. know because I was looking it up and it talks about like Death Wish, but then it's saying that that's distributed by Paramount Pictures. Oh. <laughs> So, like, most, I guess, MGM stuff was being distributed by Paramount. Yeah. Who has their own thing, so... And then they're talking about, like, Ted Turner and all that kind of stuff, but that's all in the Warner Brothers library. That's all on HBO Max. Yeah. So, like, what do they actually get out of this? Yeah, they literally, like, don't... I don't know, unless unless they're letting them show those movies, too. Like, these are the film series that MGM makes... Broadway Melody, which is a series of films that hasn't had an entry since 1940. Yeah. Thin Man, which hasn't had a film since 1947. Andy Hardy, which stopped being made in 1958. Dr. Kildare stopped being made in 1942. (laughs) Daisy ended in 1947. Dr. Gillespie ended in 1947. James Bond is current. Pink Panther is allegedly current. Uh, That's Entertainment which 
hasn't had anything entertaining since 1994. Rocky. Okay, so Rocky's another franchise. Yeah, so they have Creed. So I'm guessing those, Creed would be attached to right, that too. Yeah, those Creed movies. That's a thing. And then Poltergeist, which there hasn't done anything since that real yeah. like six yeah. years ago. <laughs> Legally Blonde. I'm sure that's one that's bringing in some big books. Yes. And Barbershop. Whatever that is. A barber shop? <laughs> is that like an actual barber shop? <laughs> yeah, it's an actual barber shop that MGM happened to own in the LA area. Yeah, this is going to be really strange. I was just watching this. Handmaiden's Tale is owned by G- MGM. That's a very popular series. Are they just going to take it off Hulu, so which is owned by Disney, and just be like, we're going to show it on Amazon only now? Yeah, that whole deal's bizarre. Yeah. So they just spent like eight billion dollars for I'm guessing really nothing for like parts of franchises. It's not even like yeah. <laughs> things. They're gonna do like the expanded universe of 1940s movies that got yeah, no. <laughs> like 1940s and expanded universe. And RoboCop yeah. is another one. It's like Robo- when's RoboCop? Oh yeah, in? RoboCop. They were doing a series about RoboCop that didn't have RoboCop in it. How's that work? Because <laughs> it was supposed to be like a prequel or something. They should do it on that game show. Yeah, they should. They should do it about that. I'll buy that for a dollar, guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they should just do that. Let's have a whole like origin story about that dude. Here we go. They can make a movie about Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader at Paternity Court. <laughs> the, That's what they could. Was was that one guy, the guy that hosted Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's uh, the redneck guy. The redneck I guy guess. is like Fox, something Fox. Or yeah, something. Uh, Jamie, or I was about to say Jamie Fox. Jamie well, that's right. <laughs> I don't think that's it. He doesn't seem like a redneck to me. Uh, yeah. I can't remember what the guy's name is, though. Something Fox. But they could it's... do that guy, expanded universe of the, you might be a redneck guy. Yeah, he might be a redneck guy. His expanded universe. That could be the name of the, the universe. The, you might be a redneck expanded universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bill and Ted, I guess. Bill and Ted's another one. Oh, okay. But can you really build a franchise off or of like a movie thing? I, of like, just I think they're done with Bill and Ted. Like... Yeah, I don't think Keanu Reeves are, really wants to do another one. Keanu Reeves like... has got like 6,000 John Wick movies in development. Like that's... Not... Yeah. It feels like Amazon just wasted a bunch of money. <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like. So, well, I, I kind of wonder what they're going to do with that. I really kind of wonder what they're going to do with that one. Because that one, it's really strange. Unless they're allowed to show what Par- a lot of Paramount movies on their on their service. Because that's really the only thing I could think of. Because a lot of that stuff are like Handmaiden's Tale. That's a popular show. Because a lot of movies, there's like a lot of shows that MGM makes. It's like they should just put on. I guess if Amazon's allowed to stream them, then it would be fine. But I don't think I don't think Disney's gonna let them just do that. <laughs> no, yeah, because a lot of their franchises are like partially owned by Disney or partially. Owned, actually, all of them are partially owned by somebody. Yeah, because a lot of like, their oh, old stuff is Turner Classic Movies, which is HBO Max. Yeah, half this stuff was Paramount. Uh, and then you've got some of the stuff owned by Disney now. Yeah, and it's like that's the thing is like all those things are under like under a subscription service. Amazon doesn't have a subscription service, so no. So if you really want to just watch like I want to watch season one of Handmaid's Tale, I'm not, I'm not going to pay ten dollars or whatever it is a month. I'll go to Amazon and just watch the whole series or whatever. Well, I mean, you technically pay for Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah, that's true. Which is, people forget because a lot of people have it anyway for shipping, but it's also a streaming service. Oh, yeah, that's true. But then Amazon also charges you for movies and TV shows and stuff. Yeah, so they do like a, they do like a Disney thing. <laughs> like they the do like movie. rentals and all that kind of stuff, plus because yeah. there's a lot of stuff that's not on the Amazon Prime library. Yeah. Okay, so my next thing I have here, speaking of, speaking of streaming service, uh, I think we talked about Gundam last time we did this, or we didn't talk about Gundam because we didn't do this last time. Yeah, we've never <laughs> done this before. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I was like, uh, maybe that was in a dream somewhere. <laughs> yes. But 
uh, Netflix apparently is going to stream the latest animated Gund- Gundam movie, and also Mobile Suit Gundam Hathaway is coming. So on on Netflix. So must, Netflix, I know, have been bulking up their anime section. So bring in Gundam. I get that's a pretty good one. Gundam is a pretty decent one to be put on their service. That's a pretty popular series, and having the movie as well. So the new one, I don't know when that movie's coming out in Japan. Well, it's out in Japan now. It's in the theater. Okay. But I don't know when it's getting a Netflix. Yeah, I wonder if, wonder when that's going to show up on Netflix. I wonder if it, I wonder if they're going to be showing even in theaters here in the United States. Then, if it's going to be on, I'd probably say probably a good maybe six months. I wonder how long. How long do you think a good time frame before an anime movie comes out? Six that's, months. Yeah, that seems about fair. Because how long? How long did Demon, Demon Slayer take for when it came out in Japan and blew out every block off as known to man? I was probably less than six months, actually. Because I think it okay. came out here, like, in November or something. Okay, so, yeah. Probably four or five, yeah, probably five, four or five months or so. Yeah. So, maybe that, maybe that's their time frame or something. But Netflix does the things weird, I guess. Because, like, especially with anime, I, I think they wait for, seri- like, series run, end times to run do their series and then they bring it on Netflix so they can show the whole series all at once. Right. They're I think they're doing that with Godzilla Singular Point because that's gonna end this week. And then okay. I think like the week or two after that it's supposed to show up like on the international Netflix. Oh okay. So they're gonna have it and they're like, oh we have it all so I guess it's already been translated, so I'll just put it out there. <laughs> right. Yeah, because there's actually subtitles on the the version in Japan now, which is really rare because it's like the only show i know of that has english subtitles yeah japanese show that has like english subtitles for no reason okay then my last thing i have for movie news is apparently aquaman 2 finally got this title come out it's called aquaman 2 the lost kingdom it's about as generic as you possibly can get yeah i wonder what lost kingdom they're talking about they're well it's probably not atlantis because it's not lost yeah, that we know about Atlantis now. So we kind of know it exists, unless it's like another Lost Kingdom, like Moon. unless it's going to be with who was that one person? Like in the uh, North Pole or like the trench? Oh yeah. Well, that's my thinking too. Is that maybe it will have something to do with the trench because they canceled the James Wan's trench movie? Oh okay. Yeah, that's right. I guess they did cancel that. Yeah, that, it might, he must have just been like, well, we're going to kind of... So the Lost Kingdom will make sense. Yeah, so maybe he's working some of the ideas that were in the Trench into an Aquaman movie. Yeah, because the like, Trench is owned by... Oh, they had like all those monsters there, so no one's actually like, really explored it too much, so... Right. So yeah. technically it would be a Lost Kingdom. <laughs> right, yeah. And the Trench was supposed to be a standalone thing that I don't think Aquaman was in, so maybe now they're just working Aquaman into that story. Yeah. That's actually one I'm kind of... I do, I'm excited about Aquaman too. Aquaman was a pretty decent movie, so... Yeah. Yeah, I liked Aquaman. As long as it doesn't... As long as it doesn't become, like, Wonder Woman (laughs) 2, it should be fine. Yeah. That was... I guess it is is made by James Wan, though, so... James Wan is pretty decent at doing that. It's making movies. Yeah. I bet Jenkins does, too, but... (laughs) I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I don't, uh, Wonder Woman 2 was definitely a misstep. All right, so I guess start with my stuff then. So I guess I'll just do the the other Warner Brothers news because I also had the Aquaman thing, but then we also okay. got casting for Super Pets, which I'm sure everybody's real excited for. Yes. Uh, Keanu Reeves is supposed to be one of the Super Pets. Oh, nice. He's not Ace the Bat Hound. Somebody else was cast as that, so... But we know that Keanu is apparently in that film, and that's obviously an animated film. Yeah. And uh, so that was it for the Warner Brothers news. Sony has uh, Craven the Hunter has been cast. We've talked about this forever. At one point, that was also (laughs) Keanu Reeves, but it has been confirmed that it's uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. So kick ass. Great. (laughs) <laughs> who uh was the first quicksilver before boner came along yeah before boner came and took his quicksilverness from him yes so i'm not sure what that is that just adds a lot another layer of confusion if they're going to weave the sony verse into the mcu because that means there's 
another Aaron Taylor Johnson floating around? Yeah, there's just multiple Aaron Taylor Johnsons. <laughs> there's gonna be at some point there's just like six Aaron Taylor Johnsons and they're all playing different characters. And they're all pointing at each other like that. Yeah, the Spider Man meme. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I guess so. Uh, that was the Sony news. We'll go right into Disney stuff. Uh, Loki came out, and we're going to probably watch that right after this. Yes. So we'll have our review up shortly for the first episode of Loki. But it is their top rated show so far on the MCU, and which I suppose isn't surprising, but it kind of is because it's on Wednesdays. Yeah, that is a really surprising date that they put. <laughs> so I don't know why they decided to make Wednesdays the new Friday, but here we are. Because Friday is still itself. Yes. But we actually, they even made a trailer with Tom Hiddleston telling you that Wednesday is now Friday. So we also got some information about Indiana Jones 5. So apparently there is going to be part of the film is back in World War II because it looks like we're going to have a de-aged Harrison Ford, like fighting Nazis, doing the classic Indiana Jones thing. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to fast forward to, well, the present for that film. So like 1960s. And I guess the, the main idea is about the space race and like NASA and stuff. And how... So, they, so Indiana Jones can go find that uh, alien spaceship from the last movie. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm sure it's going to factor in some way, but uh this is kind of a way to tie in all of the indiana jones movies including the fourth one because you've got space travel going on but the thing is though there is a historical precedent that they're working with because operation paperclip i believe was the the code name for the project that nasa used some german scientists from the war i think like the guys did the v2 rocket or something oh yeah i remember so i think that's what they're going with Oh, okay so yeah he'll probably encounter some nazi scientists like back in the 30s or 40s or something and then run into them again in the 60s present day yeah and uh, mads mickelson has been cast as the villain so i don't know if that's that might be the guy we were just talking about the scientist or something okay so i don't know it could be okay we'll see what they do yeah is it going to be, does it have, uh, does George Lucas going to be making any part of this or no? I probably not. I don't okay. think George is doing anything. George is making his, his private pictures that he doesn't show anybody, but his close <laughs> friend, whatever that's about. <laughs> Just and, at his house. Yeah. And then speaking of fives, we also got news about Predator. So everybody's excited about that Predator 5 movie that's in development. And uh, that's going to Hulu. So <laughs> they're not going to show it at the theaters. It's going yeah, right to it's, Hulu. It's going right to Hulu. So that I'm sure they have a lot of confidence in that. Film. Is that like a is that like a new made for TV or not made for TV, but like DVD? Right, this right. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's the movie. new direct to DVD, direct to Hulu. <laughs> yeah, direct to Hulu. <laughs> I guess Hulu also has an Alien series in development as well. So I guess anything that's Alien or Predator is going to Hulu. So I guess that's the sign that so you're... no one's ever going to see that. <laughs> I guess it's a sign that you're dealing with a dead franchise. Yeah. And then the last Disney bit of news was a little bit of news about Book of Boba. So I guess they wrapped filming and there was an interview mm -hmm. with uh, Temuera Morrison on Rotten Tomatoes. And they asked him about the show and he said that apparently it's going to cover a pretty wide range of time and we're going to see what Boba Fett's been doing since Empire Strikes Back. So, so this be him just crawling out of a Sarlacc pit for <laughs> <laughs> basically, but there for was 40 uh, episodes. Yeah. There was some time between Empire and Jedi though. So it's a couple years there. One thing I thought of is if they did like a reworked shadows of the empire, but from Boba Fett's point of view, like that could be interesting. Yeah. That would be kind of interesting. I'm, I am kind of interested in what this is going to be about. Because it'll probably deal with the Bounty Hunter Guild and all that stuff. So we might see like Bosk and IG-88 and like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that could be cool. And then I think we'll do uh, Universal as uh, Jurassic World Dominion has started its early stages of like promotional material. 
and there's apparently a teaser trailer that's floating around. It hasn't been released yet, but I guess part of it's been leaked. And uh, I guess it, there's a scene where, at least in the film somewhere, there's a scene in the Cretaceous period that shows real dinosaurs. Okay. I guess that segment ends with a mosquito landing on a Tyrannosaurus, and then it cuts to like the present. And it's possibly the the mosquito. Probably like the first movie or something. Yeah, it might be the mosquito that's in uh, Hammond's cane or whatever. Yeah. But uh, that's kind of cool because then it's going to show a re- like real dinosaurs compared to the Jurassic Park, like theme park monster kind of thing. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> the newest movies. <laughs> Which is really what they've been doing with the Jurassic World films in particular. Yeah, it's like that science gone mad type of thing. Right. They're kind of hammering the point across that the dinosaurs were never accurate, that they were always like genetically engineered monsters. Yeah. <laughs> so all these people that have been complaining that Dilophosaurus was actually like 12 feet tall and didn't spit and Velociraptors were actually the size of turkeys or whatever. The reason why all these things are inaccurate is because they aren't literal interpretations of those dinosaurs they have the genome for it but then they had to fill in all the missing yeah with the blocks. like in the original movie they talked about it was like frog dna and stuff right like, yeah so they're not going to be the exact duplicates of the real thing yeah so i kind of like that idea and they get to play around with more like genetics gone wrong kind of stuff yeah which and is then, always what jurassic parts always been about yeah exactly So, I don't know. I kind of like that idea. And then the last bit of news I had... Well, Netflix had a whole bunch of stuff, but it's, like, barely worth talking about. Because they had, what, like, Geeked Week or something? Yeah, they had Geeked Week, and it was, like, five days worth of Netflix stuff, but they just showed the... Five days of nothing. Yeah, of nonsense. (laughs) Yeah, because there was a Witcher thing, but it was, like, literally five-second trailer of Siri, and it didn't have Geralt at all. Yeah. So... But there's also they announced WitcherCon, I guess, on July 9th or something. Okay. I don't think there's enough Witcher material to have a WitcherCon, but okay. As CD Project Red there, so someone's gonna hack their stuff. <laughs> yeah, show but, really. like CD Project Red, as far as anybody knows, isn't actively developing a Witcher game. Unless <laughs> unless they are. Unless they are and it got hacked. All right. <laughs> and yeah, and then you can expect to see it in twelve to fifteen years. Maybe that's why they brought them over there. They're probably like, we're using C D product red as bait so they can get the hackers to show up. <laughs> Make <Maybe. laughs> them at that place. <laughs> that's right. They're gonna beat up by these guys. Bait them, the hackers will go there, they're gonna bait them in there, and then Henry Cavill's gonna like citizen arrest them all. Yes. And then the last bit of news I had was uh, John Wick Chapter 4. So earlier in the week, I made a video about Donnie Yen joining the cast. So Mm -hmm. this news, I thought about making a new video for this, but then I realized it wasn't really that big of a deal to make its own separate video. So we got announcement that Lawrence Fishburne is returning, which doesn't really surprise anybody. No. And also another actor, I think Shamir Anderson, who I'm not sure who that is. So he might be good. I've heard some good things about him, but I I can't really say. And then the other thing was Bill Skarsgård was at the very least was in talks to be a okay. John Wick. And he's best known right now as being Pennywise in the It films. Yeah. So I want to say that he's probably going to be a villain probably one thing this is my own personal speculation but this is the third major swedish actor that has actually been in the john wick films the first one was mikhail nickfist who played the the main bad guy vigo who was the russian mob boss in the original the first john wick movie and then you had peter stormare play his brother in the second film so I'm wondering if another major Swedish actor, if they're just going to have this guy be like his nephew or something and continue the the ongoing joke of having Swedes play Russian mob bosses. It probably is. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. For some reason, every time they have a Swedish dude, he's always, not only is he playing a Russian, he's playing a Russian that's part of the same family. Yeah. 
like the Tarasovs or whatever the that mob family from the original John Wick movie. So, and we kind of got more confirmation that France and Germany seem to be the main locations. So, Japan may actually be a minor thing in this because they said there's going to be a, like extra shooting in in Japan, but it was like the main locations seem to be Paris and Berlin. Yes. So we might only see Japan in like a flashback or something. But the one thing I do want to point out, and this is like totally rumor, but Lawrence Fishburne mentions that there's a character, he says, played by a Mr. Watanabe. And Collider, who did the interview or whatever, went and specified that that's the name of a character and not the name of the actor. But that doesn't make much sense with how he worded that. Yeah. Like, the way he worded that, it sounds like that's the name of the actor. The only, Ken, the only Watanabe I know of is Ken Watanabe. Yeah. That's, that's just pure speculation, but it sounds like that's what he's talking about. Like, he may have, Lawrence Fishburne may have slipped up and released something that wasn't supposed to be said. <laughs> Probably. Uh, now that sometimes happens. Yeah, he seems like kind of guy that doesn't care, so he, he may have flubbed up and said that but uh collider claims that he meant the name of the act of the character is watanabe not the actor but that also is interesting because it means that there's a japanese character that hasn't been cast yet yeah that hasn't been cast and no one knows what they're talking about (laughs) so who knows maybe it's that hiriki sonata rumor hiriki sonata is playing ken watanabe in the (laughs) <laughs> John Wick Chapter 4 Ken Watanabe yeah Hiroyuki Sonata is playing Ken Watanabe <laughs> we've come full circle now there's like two Japanese actors and one's playing the other one now <laughs> so that is all of my movie news pretty random for this week yeah like I said this, this week's pretty random thanks for listening and be sure to stay tuned for part 2 where we talk about the video game news for the week hope to see you then bye